Welcome back to another video. It's episode number nine, and we will talk about loops. Loops are so important in programming in any programming language uh, because, first of all, they m they allow us to execute a block of code so many times about uh, without repeating the lines and the block. And uh, second, it allow us to get uh, data or information from a table. Well, in this episode, we'll talk about uh, ex executing code so many times. We'll not talk about uh, getting data from tables. We will leave that for the next episode. So let me explain more. Output chat box. Hi. You want to output that hi, for example, for four times. Instead of doing four lines, you do loop. So there is two types of uh, there is so much types of loops but uh, i will just explain to you which are so useful the other i don't think they are uh, so much useful so i will not lose time by explaining them well personally i did not ever use them i also use for and while so this is the first type is why while condition this is the syntax also while the condition and block of code here output chat box high so the condition while true, while the condition is true, the code is keep going and going. Uh, for example, I will define a variable here as i equal one. I will increase i by one on each execute of the code, and here the condition will be i less than five. So this is we execute for for four times high, like I said before. Restart my script. So this is will be yeah high 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 four times so uh, when the code executed high equal one then it will be two and uh, so on and it will reach four and when it reach four the code stop also we can break the code before it uh, reach four 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 it reach four using break keyword break keyword will stop the loop basically so this is been output just for one time wait a minute let me change that to another one to, to just make sure restart my underscore script yeah and you can see it one time because the loop has been broken or stopped so this is basically the first type of loop the second type is for for i equal one or whatever you want to in it all uh, it, uh, i reach uh, five do and so when ex every time you execute the code here the block of code here uh, every time you execute the block uh, execute the block of code here I will be increased by one by default but we can change that increment I will mean, tell you later about how but let's first try okay to to make sure that I uh, increasing by executing on each time that execute I will output I for I equal one five do so yeah and it will said one two three four five it's like counting e also we can I said we can change the increment this is the third value which is we can change it zero dot one so will be one dot one one dot two and and so on I'm just showing, I'm just restarting the results and showing the result to just make things clear. I know the result already, but just to make things clear for you, as you can see here. Yeah, uh, so if you don't, did not define the increment here, it will be by default 1. Also, we can use break here, it will output just uh, 1, because the code will be break, or the loop will be broken. Start my script. Come on, come on. Yeah, as you can see, one, just one. So yeah, basically those are loops. Uh, I will explain for for loop to get data from tables in the next episode. I will introduce tables in the next episode to know more about them. Uh, yeah, I will introduce them in the next episode and I will explain how to get data from them. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't yet do like and comment below if you have any question and I gonna see you next time have a nice week